Well, hello everyone. It's Hi there. time for a new thread. I love the thread. Ooh, this is loud. There we go. <laughs> I did not turn my YouTube volume down. Don't mind me. This very loud game is Raymond 2, the Great Escape. I mean, you're not naming Raymond. yourself Ass? No! What kind of arcade player are you? I, I like to put these... <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> the game has been saved successfully, but my heart has not. All right. Thread, that's just over. Um, We're done. We're done here. <laughs> this is a cutscene, but nobody cares. There's no voice action. I think that might actually be a bug with the PC version. Oh, is there supposed to be voices? I think there's supposed to be babbling. Was there oh, voice okay. back in this early? Banjo Kazooie oh. voices. Kinda. So apparently since Rayman dealt with that Mr. Dark guy, things have kind of gone to shit. Well, you know, he was the only one keeping the pirates at bay. I didn't even know there were pirates! It's like a, oh, is it like a yin-yang thing? Like, you hear the bounce off. <laughs> you know, it's either Mr. Only Dark, Mr. Dark or pirates. Only Mr. Dark can keep the pirates at bay, and I only the so. pirates can keep Mr. Dark at bay. Oh wait, did that say robots? Yeah, there's robots. Wait, are they robot okay. pirates? Yes! Yes! They I, also I blew can... up the heart of the world, which you'd think would have more dire consequences, but it really just means we have a bunch of shit to collect. Oh, well, I guess yeah, that's acceptable. That sounds like a platformer. You must escape, Rain Man. You are our only hope. It begins. Rain Man 2, The Great Escape. Is this, like, how okay. he got out of the casino? Okay. Point has been made. You can stop now. <laughs> He's not gonna stop. Nope. Alright, so this is the Buccaneer, and this ship is fucking enormous. Wow, it looks fairly large. Wow, it's it's going up? All right, Are they enslaving there, people no as they watch? There's no ships coming in, they're like, how does that work? Um, magic. Maybe it's teleport. Oh, no, okay. Alright, so it is time for the greatest escape of all time. Is that frog this thing going accomplice. to escape? This is our jailbreaker. This is Globax, the savior of humanity. Oh, thank God. Or whoever lives on this planet. Raymanity? I guess. <laughs> he seems very content with the situation. Hey! <laughs> Not much gets Globax down. He spends a later day oh my God. perpetually stoned. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> No. You can't count cards anymore. <laughs> that face! That face! He doesn't wow. really care. You lost your what now? <laughs> I guess, where else would he keep that? I mean... Look, when the world is being enslaved by robot pirates, you do what you gotta do. How else are you gonna sneak anything into jail? Yeah. Oh, he's happy okay. now. Nano lum suppress Globox stomach acid. So you get cocaine into jail. That's how you get fairy powers into jail. That is such a fantastic right, so haircut, by the way. We are in control, but this is sort of a. This Ooh. isn't even a tutorial section. This is a sick grinding section. Was this, this is, yes. Was this before tutorial sections? Well, no, the game isn't that big. Come on. It's just, well, I... we gotta start the game off with a bang. Well, I, I mean, like, you know, this, like, tutorial seconds are like a more a recent game thing. At least big, massive, sweeping ones. Yeah, exactly. And entire game-long ones. <laughs> oh, well. I guess that was a bang. It's okay. We're fine. Oh, but we've lost the light. Oh, it's coming back. Okay. Thank God, I'd hate to have to go through a dark level first thing. Ugh, he is definitely one of those characters that looks better in 2D. I mentioned that in the Sandcastle post, but ugh. <laughs> Look! Ugh. You work with the technology you have! <laughs> yeah, but maybe you could just, I don't know. <laughs> 
So this is the tutorial section, and it's a good place to just get acquainted with the controls. They're actually fairly tight for this sort of game. That's good. Camera control is not for... Oh, hello, Murphy. Murphy's great. He's your helper, dude. Oh my god. And he is so happy to help you. <laughs> he looks like he knows something I don't. I mean, he knows all the things to know about Rainbow right 2. <laughs> he knows all of the tutorials. <laughs> that's, that's more than I know. That's true. Oh, I see what it is. You you stepped on some magic mushrooms and now you have a smiling fly following you. Now it makes sense. Alright, so smashing pirate cages is a good thing. You have just smashed a pirate cage! <laughs> So, it's not very well explained, but every time you smash ten of those, your life bar increases. Oh, it's really? sort of random. Oh, nice. That's like heart but pieces, it's... but really bad. I mean, it's sort of like an incentive to do it, aside from just collecting it, which is nice. Yeah, but does it, like, tell you? Sort of? Oh, well, hey, I remember those enemies from original Rain Man. So, there's- the controls in this game are actually fairly self-explanatory, it's just mm -hmm. you jump, you shoot things with your fist because you're Rayman. Choo -choo. You control the camera. I usually do that by just centering it behind me. I find that to be much more effective than actually using the dedicated camera control buttons. I feel like that usually happened to me in games like this. Yeah, that, even like in modern games, that, that's like the easiest thing to do. That is just a pair of balls. I'm sorry. It really is. Shh. <laughs> you had this to slap it on my. For everyone. You just had to slap it on my screen like that. We also have a hover move. Hover okay. is very useful. So I guess you have most of the things from Rayman One, just like reified. No. Yeah, we we're missing a stuff. A, we're missing a little bit of stuff that the pirates took away because they're assholes. Like but... the grappling hook. Also, oh my god. It's okay. Gigantic gaping maws. Oh, they're fine now. If we bring back Globox, they won't consume us. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, <laughs> they won't consume all of existence. Oh, no! No! <laughs> How do they talk? How do they talk without moving the He is handling this quite well. Anyway, the yellow things we're picking up are lums, which were mentioned in the intro as the thousand bits of primordial power that came from the center of the world. <laughs> hey, you wanna climb those walls? <laughs> it's it's a really inappropriate gibberish sound for him too, because he's whispering, but it sounds like he should it just doesn't be like, sound like he's whispering. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, what is it? This is a pretty neat mechanic, but it doesn't show up very often. How does... And it's not really skill-based, it's just something how does you can he... do. How does he stay up if he's not... That's a good question. Alright, so these are the teensies, and I fucking love these guys. They're, um, Martians? No, oh, they're teensies. They even they're have soft. the Martian sound effect from Banjo-Kazooie. They're Martians. Hey! They are also, each and every one, convinced that they are the king of the teensies. <laughs> That's actually pretty great. <laughs> okay, I can get behind this as a character trait. Secession disputes are very complicated. Now what's booty? Oh, we got with you! I love that. <laughs> Puts the crown on the other guy's head. <laughs> a king must make the tough decisions, you know. Oh. That's not I mean, so bad. I'm honestly not sure why they take her there. It sounds like a pretty reasonable place for fairies to be. That's true. It's like when you kidnap Birdman and take him up to the sun. <laughs> Wait a minute. That, ha that actually happened in a surprising number of episodes. Wait a I, minute. I'm not surprised. That was kind of a terrible show. 
<laughs> it really was. Like, that one episode of Venture Brothers where Captain, where they like shoot a sunray at Captain Sunshine, that, I'm pretty sure that actually happened. That, <laughs> yeah, that sounds We like actually, we watched that season like a few weeks ago, so I can remember all, all that stuff that happened. Yeah, exactly. The show is so good. Oh, are we like... Oh, world this, mapping! Yeah, this is the level select. It's basically just your standard Super Mario Bros. 3 kind of a thing. <laughs> the Hall of Doors. It's not really a hall. Hall of Doors! Look. No hall, no doors. I said Hall of Doors! Anyway, next episode we'll actually get into the meat of the game, where there's things things to do and things to punch and fairies to save. Oh boy. They're pretty cool.